Hello, my name's Bob Willis, and every month we show you how to do it. Now, printed circuit boards uh, can feature, and quite often do, blind via holes. Now, a blind via hole is a hole which is partly through the board. It's drilled either by laser or controlled depth drilling into the surface of the board and goes down to layer two or layer four. It very much depends. But basically, we're talking about a blind via and within a plated through hole, which goes all the way through the board, uh, it's fairly easy to inspect. But with, with a blind via, it's a little bit more difficult. Basically, when we're producing a blind via, we're drilling down to what is referred to as a capture pad. So it's a copper pad somewhere inside the printed circuit board. Then what we've got to do is metalize and plate the copper, making and guaranteeing a reliable connection to the capture pad inside the printed circuit board. And this is sometimes where things go wrong. You can plate into a hole, but sometimes you don't get the adhesion that you really want. So inspecting the, that interconnection and making sure that you've prepared the capture pad successfully for plating is important. So this may be a two or three step process. Now, of course, you can do a traditional microsection to assess the quality of the blind via, looking at the interface between the plated copper and the capture pad. However, in, in process control, what you might be doing in the fabrication process prior to copper plating is being able to inspect the via pad surface. So it's the surface we're actually going to be plating onto. Now I show in this example what I would consider a well-produced area. We've drilled down to the capture pad and the capture pad is there and available to accept copper plating, which will give us a reliable interconnection. But to actually be able to optically inspect that sample, uh, we have to prepare the sample and basically reduce the height or the thickness of the material between the outside of the board and the surface of the capture pad, which I've done and shown in these examples. Now, another technique that can be conducted is to back grind a printed circuit board. So imagine you're looking at a via hole, but you actually want to look at the via pad connection to that plating. What we actually do is grind up through the bulk of the printed circuit board. When we get to the track, which is connected to the bottom of the via, we can actually try and separate it mechanically. Now, if it separates cleanly with no effort at all, then clearly the copper plating and the pad were never connected and never reliably plated up. If the track separates, but you can see obvious evidence of mechanical or brittle fracture on the pad surface and on the copper, then clearly it was a sound interconnection.